Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to talk all things Easter, like this one. We have three books here, the garden, the curtain, and the cross. The donkey who carried the king and Holy Week. I have to change location. I have to go inside because my allergies are bothering me. Uh, the pollen here in North Carolina is really bad. Anyway, so we will be reading these books together with the resurrection eggs. If you have not watched that video, I will card that right here or maybe here. These books are obviously for kids. This book talk about uh, the creation and also when God the Father sent His only Son to save us and then talk about resurrection. The illustration is really pretty for kids. And so here, this is Adam and Eve. The illustration is really neat. I will just read the back of it. So a very long time ago, right here in this world, there was a garden. In the garden, everything was wonderful. The world was full of laughing and playing and smiling and fun. There was nothing bad ever. There was no one sad ever. But then one day, I guess you know what happened one day, right? So read the amazing story of the whole Bible, why Jesus died and rose again, and how can you be part of the story. The next book is The Donkey Who Carried a King. So this is Davy, the donkey. So this book is about Davy, the donkey who carried a king. Uh, the narrator of this book is a grandfather and then he was telling the story of Davy to his grandkids. It's very nice. Uh, Davy the donkey was never chosen to do anything until the day he found himself carrying the king. Who is the king? After that, he felt proud of himself until he saw what the king had to carry. And this is by R.C. Sproul. Uh, you can tell that I am a big fan of R.C. Sproul as a uh, author. I really love his books. So R.C. Sproul offers a unique take on the passion of Jesus Christ to teach young children the essential message of the gospel that the Lord bore our sins when he went to Calvary. In this delightful tale, children will see that Jesus was both the king and the suffering servant, the savior and an example to all of us to serve God with willing and thankful hearts. Holy Week and Emotions Primer. So this book is about emotions. Uh, there are 10 emotions here like um, excited and it has the corresponding Bible verse. So this is really good when, you, when the kids read it. Excited. When Jesus entered Jerusalem for the Passover feast, a crowd gathered to see him waving palm branches and shouting, Hosanna, blessed is who comes in the name of the Lord. From the book of John, chapter 12, verse 13. Angry. Then Jesus entered the temple and drove out the merchants. He turned over their tables, angry because they made God's house a den of robbers. When the temple was clean, Jesus stayed there healing and teaching. From the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 13. Loved. Before the Passover feast, Jesus showed the disciples how much he loved them. He washed their feet, saying, I did this as an example for you, so you should serve each other just as I served you. John chapter 13, verse 15. Thankful. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body. He took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, 
Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many so that their sins may be forgiven. From the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 26 to 28. Overwhelmed. Then Jesus went to pray, telling his disciples, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow. He fell down and prayed, Abba, Father, take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. From the book of Mark chapter 14 verse 34 and 36. Frustrated, Jesus was arrested and brought to Pilate, but Pilate found him innocent and wanted to release him. Still, the people wanted Jesus to die. Frustrated, Pilate asked them, Why? What evil has he done? I have found in him no guilt. But the people again demanded Jesus should be crucified. So Pilate decided that their demand should be granted. This is from the book of Luke chapter 23 verse 22 and 24. Scared. Jesus was crucified. The earth shook when he died, and the soldiers who were guarding Jesus were terrified, exclaiming, Surely he was the Son of God. This is from the book of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 54. Sad. Many people were sad when Jesus died. They laid his body in a tomb and rolled a great stone to the entrance. He was pursed for our transgressions, and by his wounds we are healed. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. This is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 5 to 6. Surprised. On the third day, women went to Jesus' tomb, where an angel descended and said, I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen. From the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 5 to 6. Joyful. Jesus appeared to his disciples and said, it's really me. Touch me. You can say that I have a living body. Go and tell people that they must change and turn to God, which will bring them his forgiveness. Tell this message in my name to the people of all nations. They worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem, overwhelmed with joy. From the book of Luke Chapter 24, verse 39, 47 to 48. Thank you so much for tuning in and hope to see you in my next video. Happy Easter!